Hi, Chicken Bone John here, and I'm going to talk about a problem, real world problem, of uh, how necks can actually fail. So, here's a few that are in progress, and this is made out of yellow poplar, all of these. And as you can see, we've got a neck stick which has been notched out here to fit into the box, and it's got a back strap glued on. This one I've, I've picked out because you know there's a bit of contrast between the timber, you've got this greenish colour. And this lighter colour, it's all yellow poplar. Once it's all stained up and lacquered, you'll, you'll not really see the difference. This is the next stage where it's been profiled and it's had a, a slot for our pickup, which actually goes in the centre of the sound hole. And this one is one I've had a problem with. Let's have a look at this. We'll put these out of the way. So, as you can see, the thing was finished up, but as I was starting to carve it i realized i got a problem what i had done i think i'd clamped this part of the neck to the bench and i must have knocked the neck itself and anyway we've got a crack you can't really see anything there can you but what i've done i've highlighted a couple of points and there's actually two cracks in this and if i bend the neck back which is a way it wouldn't normally be loaded. Can you see what's happening there? It's cracked, it's and then if I load it up the way it would normally be bent by the strings, we've got another crack here. Now, the likelihood of this happening is very unlikely. This happened, as I say, a result of me actually having this thing clamped to the bench and I think I actually walked into this and knocked it so I must have really loaded it up but your gu guitar could be subject to you know being dropped or you know trodden on or whatever and it could fail like this there's nothing much you can do about such overload situations but I wanted to talk about how things fail in reality now can you see, if I flip it over you can see there's really nothing, there's no evidence. You could miss that until you start bending the thing. You see, there's a split opening up. That's that's as the neck would be loaded by the strings, pulling that apart. An interesting thing to note, if you can see the glue joint, it's not failed on the glue joint. But if we turn it over and look here, where I put the error this is a junction between the back strap and the main neck and this is a, you can just see the start of the glue joint and I guess if I bend the neck down you can see it's opening up so that's where the crack started it propagated it grew from that point but interestingly you can see it's failed here along the glue line. Here, it started running off into the main part of the neck. See where that neck, see where the crack goes. So, you know that people sort of say, oh yeah, the glue's stronger than the wood itself. In this case, that's true. But the crack started at the junction. Despite this being rounded off, there wasn't anywhere that for the crack really to start but the weak point was the actual glue joint and it could be because this was feathered out a bit it didn't get as much clamping pressure and the crack started here okay this this is a more classic crack propagation thing where there's a change of direction in the shape of the thing and it's you see from this very tight point here where the crack has started, it's propagated, it's grown from that point. It's one thing you will see, you'll see in design, you will often see these things rounded off. So to minimise the risk of this abrupt change, we could have sort of rounded it off. You'll see that if you look at many products, you'll see this, you know, a lot of metal uh, products, the classic thing is an aeroplane window. You know, aeroplane windows don't have sharp edges, so yeah. that tends to minimise where a crack might start. If you've got this sharp change 
in shape, you can see the wood fibers are running along here and here you hit the point at which this end grain is exposed. You know, this is all one continuous piece of material, but where the wood fibers abruptly change, that's where the crack's gonna happen. That's an unusual loading. It could have been mounted on the bench and I've sort of knocked it down and then it's sort of rebounded. That can happen. You know, if you drop a guitar, you can, it can do that and then rebound to do that. So that's an extreme thing. I've never had this happen. This is the first time ever. Um, fortunately, it's happened in the workshop, not in use. But that was an extreme situation where it got a clout through me walking into the damn thing. And it's caused this. It's an interesting, it caused this fracture. Interesting because it's gone both ways. It's not just the one which where you might expect it to fail or here. It's done both. So, um, to avoid that, yeah, you can put a, a good radius on, but it didn't help here. We've got a nice big radius on here, as big as you could, really, and it's still cracked, which I think my suspicion was, it, you know, it got bent that way, and the two parts split in a rotation, because I probably had it, I would say walked it, I probably walked into this section and just twisted it. And it was enough to start that, that crack. As I say, nothing to worry about with most people, you know, building a neck. As long as you make it strong enough. And you can see the thickness of the wood here. It doesn't get any thinner. Than, you know, that's the thinnest part really. That is about the same thickness all the way through it's going to get weakened as we say notch it for a, a pickup it's still a reasonable thickness but the important thing i think is, is to try and make sure when you're making a neck and gluing something like this up that you have this consistent thickness which will minimize any risks but in extremis, if a neck's going to get broken, you know, it's going to get broken if it's really overloaded. Not in use, but by an accident. So there you go. That's that phenomenon of crack propagation. It's not just a theory. It can actually happen. And in this case, due to an accident in the workshop, it did happen. So... That scrap, you know, it'll probably glue up and it'll be all right. But as far as we're concerned, that scrap, lesson learned, Just I'll just have to be a bit more careful to make sure I don't walk into work pieces that are clamped onto the bench and knacker a neck. So I've had to make another one up. Okay, I hope that's been of interest. If you've got any questions about this, drop us a message at uh, mail at chickenbonejohn.com. That's a scrap neck. And we move on. Okay, I hope that's been interesting and helpful. Bye for now.